I'm making a short video to demonstrate an antique musical snuff box. This is a large snuff box. The top has a hand painted maiden. If anyone recognizes who this woman is, I sure would appreciate it. Um, it's also possible that this could have been the woman that this musical snuff box was crafted for as a gift. This was made in the Netherlands in 1825 and is properly hallmarked as such. Hallmarks really don't show up well in videos. Been fully serviced, so it works exactly as it should. It's an early sectional comb music box with a solid comb and no dampers and solid teeth. Dampers were not yet invented. And the um, the teeth are solid steel, so they don't have soldered weights. So what I'm going to do, there's two levers on the back. We're going to listen to, yeah, we'll listen to this song first, which I believe it's all the way to the left. Now, the last third of this song I have heard before. And if anyone recognizes the song, you know, please let me know. Um, the beginning, I don't recognize. The end, I recognize. So let's listen to a play. Play is absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do now, bear with me, I'm going to slide this lever to the right, and that's going to shift the cylinder. You never want to do that as the music box is playing, because that's physically moving the cylinder, so a different set of pins engage. And let's listen to the second song. absolutely amazing. The, the early music boxes are just superior to all the music boxes that were crafted later. And the reason why is a lot of labor went into the musical arrangement, the tuning, uh, the quality of the pinning, you know, the complexity of the pinning. And that really makes a difference in the overall um, sound and complexity of the song. So in summary, an antique crafted in in the Netherlands, an 1825 musical snuff box. And this would have been a, a larger table snuff box with a hand painted scene of a maiden. This would have been very expensive back in the day. And well, clearly in 1825, the way that this woman is dressed, the, uh, she's not really working a whole lot with her hands. <laughs> Take care.